hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this elegant logo reveal animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effect. Let's create a new composition and we will call it as main animation as always. Width is 1920, height is 180, frame rate is 30, duration is 30 second long and background color is white color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose grid and guide option and hit on title safe action. Then I have already imported this illustrator file over here which contains this logo. This, I got this logo from freepick.com. Link is available in the description so you can download it and practice it along with this. Now select this logo, press S for scaling option and scale it at appropriate size somewhere around like this. Now I'm going to select my pen tool and this time I don't want any fill over here and stroke width let's choose 10 pixels only. Then uh, as you guys can see we have this kind of curve in this logo. So what I'm going to do from here to here like this and then like this I'm going to create this curvature and select this and let's move this over here and let's try to adjust this handle and let's move this over here like this and like this now let's increase the stroke width as you guys can see we will get something like this and then i'm going to select this last point and i'll move this over here so it will cover this portion and let's handle this handle again and press g and select this point and let's uh, move this with the help of arrow keys i'll move this over here now select this layer go to the contents go to the shape go to the stroke and over here you will get this option known as line cap right now it's butt cap so we are going to choose round cap so we will get something like this now select this layer uh, let's uh, go to the let's minimize all of this let's select this add menu go to the trim path uh, go to the trim path initially let's make this end property zero like this create one keyframe go to around two second and we will create another keyframe so we'll get something like this then go to the start then minimize it go to the shape and go to the stroke uh, like this uh, not path but stroke and over here we will get this option known as stroke width so create one keyframe and then hit u go to the last keyframe create another keyframe and initially i'm gonna make this stroke width let's say one so if i see this animation i'll get this kind of animation now select those keyframes and let's hit f9 to easy ease those keyframe and let's see how this animation looks we will get something like this now let's select this shape layer like this press ctrl d press p for position and we will bring this over here make sure that it should cover this logo again select this hit ctrl d press p let's move this over here somewhere around like this or let's delete this i'm going to select all of this both layers and or only this layer and it should cover this uppermost portion uh, let us select both of them and let's move them over here so it will cover this portion let's move this a little bit over here like this now this is the first layer this is the second layer so select the second layer hit ctrl d select this third layer press p for position let's bring this downwards hit ctrl d to duplicate it select this bring this downwards hit ctrl d select this bring this downwards like this then again select this hit ctrl d bring this downward again select this hit ctrl d let's bring this downwards again select this hit ctrl d and let's bring this downwards okay so we will get something like this let's make this option fit and now i uh, if you see this we will get this kind of animation over here so let's hit u and minimize all of them then zoom in go to around 10 frames i'll select this one layer move this over here with the help of open bracket select this move this over here with the help of open square bracket like this and we i'm going to take the distance of 10 10 frames but you are free to choose whatever distance you want so we will get this kind of reveal animation okay so now let's select all of them press ctrl shift c and let's call this as mask and hit okay now go inside this and if you see we will get something like this 
then right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for blur type blur over here and double click on this gaussian blur to apply this effect on gaussian i mean adjustment layer and let's make this blurriness 40 <coughs> and go to the effect and presets panel and let's apply simple choker effect and double click to apply and let's make this value 20 like this so if i see this animation now as you guys can see we will get something like this let's see how does it looks uh, it looks quite weird because we don't want this kind of reveal over here so what we can do we can make this blurriness to 20 let's say and let's see this animation now and we will get something like this let's make this choker value 10 so now we will get this kind of sticky animation over here okay now select this layer choose alpha mask and now if i go to the start and if i hit play i'll get this kind of reveal okay like this and as you guys can see the main animation start from here so you can select this hold alt uh, open square bracket and trim it out go to the start and simply move this over here like this okay then double click to open this hit u and if you think the animation is quite fast so you can select those last keyframe and uh, let's select this and then by holding shift i'm going to select them also and then you can move them a little bit forward so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this let's see now where this animation start from i think this much looks good now select both the layers press ctrl shift c and let's call it as animation and hit ok like this ok now hit ctrl 0 to open the project window i have this logo over here i'll bring this over here as a reference and i'll move this over here now select this animation go to the effect and presets panel and search for fill effect and double click to apply with the help of the speaker i'm going to select this purple color select this animation hit ctrl d with the help of the speaker i'm going to this uh, orange color select this hit ctrl d with the help of the speaker i'll choose this blue color select this hit ctrl d with the help of the speaker i'm going to select this blue color select this hit ctrl d and this this time i'm going to choose complete white color then select this hit ctrl d and we are going to delete this field we don't want that now let's delete this reference layer we don't need that then go to the start and again i'm going to take the distance of 10 10 frames for this animations like this so now if i hit play i'll get this kind of reveal for this logo then uh, select this uh, last layer over here and go to the effect and presets panel and we are going to search for light sweep and double click to apply so we will get this kind of stuff and let's initially move this over here somewhere around at this point let's create one keyframe at the center and hit u then go somewhere around over here I'm going to move this from here to here so if I see this animation now I'll get something like this now let's do one thing I'm going to select this last layer and I'm going to enable this icon so I can see only this right click go to the layer styles and choose bevel emboss like this so you will get this kind of bevel go to the bevel and emboss and increase the size totally up to like this maximum height you can apply and also increase the softness and instead of black color i'm going to choose let's say yellowish color like this and uh, whatever color suits uh, like for this one i think this blue color looks good so i'll pick up this one then i'm going to select this layer styles and i'll hit ctrl c to copy let's disable this then enable this one select this and hit ctrl v uh, then select this one hit ctrl v then select this one and hit ctrl v again like this select this one i don't think we need to apply anything on white one so i'll keep it as it is like this and if you think this is quite uh, darker then all you need to do simply go over here and choose something uh, different colors uh, let's say over here yeah, if i go uh, it looks quite uh, darker over here so i'm gonna go inside this uh, layer styles bevel and emboss and instead of this one let's try to pick up something else like let's say this one white one then for this one as you guys can see this is quite darker 
so instead of this i'm going to choose this white one okay now if i go to the start and if i hit play i'll get something like this it will take a little bit time to load this animation because in, inside this we have applied that caution blur and simple choker but you will get this kind of results for this okay then select all of them and press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and let's call it as logo animation and hit ok then hit ctrl d press s un uh, unlink this and let's make this minus 100 press p for position and let's bring this downwards obviously we are going to use at a reflection like this and press s uh, let's make this somewhere around like this press p for position and let's bring this over here so we can see uh, almost all the logo then select this uh, go select your rectangle selection tool let's go to the last one select this much portion go to the mask properties and let's make this feathers like this okay basically we have added mask with the help of this rectangle then press t for opacity and let's make this opacity somewhere around like this okay now right click new and create one null object select all of them and let's make it apparent with this null one select this null one press s initially let's make this 110 create one keyframe and where the animation is gonna end around six seconds i'm going to make this 100 and or let's say 90 and hit n over here go to the last i mean the first and let's make this quarter resolution so we can see our animation properly like this now we also need to add one element over here so simply right click new and create one adjustment layer and we are going to add lens flare on it so simply type lens and you will get this lens flare so simply click on it and i'm going to move this point over here let's go over here somewhere around like this and we will create one keyframe at the flare center hit u then go somewhere around over here at this point and i'm going to move this from here to here let's say like this and move this keyframe over here like this and now if you hit play it will take a little bit time to load obviously but your final output would be awesome okay so this is how uh, you can create this kind of you know uh, liquidy you know, filling logo animation inside of after effects